Like many automotive enthusiast contingents, Jeep fanatics tend to be a pretty vocal bunch. In recent years, there was a growing sentiment among them that, with the exception of the Wrangler, the Jeep lineup had gone soft. Opting to cater to customers wanted a convincing aesthetic, but had no intention of actually taking their vehicles off the beaten path. Short of occasionally barreling over a median in a tight parking lot, those enthusiasts might have pointed their finger at the previous generation of the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk, a package that ultimately stayed within safe distance of the standard soft rotor Grand Cherokee equation while raising the asking price by a significant margin. However, this time around Jeep has made a more earnest effort to turn the Grand Cherokee into a viable alternative to the Wrangler when venturing out where the pavement ends while also retaining the livability of a typical SUV. That can be a tricky proposition, as capable dirt dwellers often compromise street-friendly manners in the pursuit of off-road prowess. But the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk has a few clever tricks up its sleeve. And while it can't satisfy the demands of every potential Jeep customer simultaneously, a week with the sport utility provided some insight into its surprisingly effective split personality. At first glance, one might dismiss the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk as a tire and sticker treatment designed to achieve a look, as the package is fairly subtle in its aesthetic execution. But there's a lot going on underneath the skin that earns the Trailhawk its trail-rated fender badge. That rating signifies that the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk has passed the battery of off-road tests conducted by the Nevada Automotive Test Center. NATC, which evaluates vehicles for traction, ground clearance, off-road articulation, maneuverability, and water fording, while competence in the dirt, 